Burlington Tower, expect your clearance, mid field, you're currently number two, another centurion's on a six mile final for only one. Each airport in the National Airspace System has unique and distinct characteristics, which can sometimes lead pilots to use the wrong surface in taxi, takeoff, or landing operations. Let's take a look at some of those tricky areas from the flight deck. Burlington International, BTV, is a medium-sized multi-use airport located just east of the city of Burlington, Vermont. It serves the air carrier, general, and corporate aviation communities, as well as being home to the Green Mountain Boys of the Vermont Air National Guard. The traffic mix of light general aviation to air carrier to tactical fighter aircraft makes BTV a challenging environment for pilots and controllers. The airport configuration consists of the main runway 1533, intersected by the smaller runway 119er. Both runways have parallel full-length taxiways. The taxiway system provides access to all terminals and general aviation services located south of the main runway, and to the military facilities on the north. One of the few remaining VORs in the region is located at BTV. The associated VOR Runway 1 approach makes it a prime location for student instrument training. In addition, BTV has Class Charlie airspace, and pilots need to be aware of it and understand the requirements to operate within it. Hotspot 1 concerns hold short markings for Runway 19er. After crossing runway 1533 at taxiway Alpha, the hold short markings for runway 19er approach quickly due to a crown in the middle of runway 1533. Pilots departing from this area should verify aircraft heading with the runway cleared to depart. They should match. Hotspot 2 denotes a wrong runway departure risk. The wide expanse of pavement can be confusing to pilots instructed to depart runway 19er. Once moving, scanning outside the aircraft for taxiway markings, signage, and above ground lights will help pilots avoid this type of error. Hotspot 3 is found at the intersection of runway 119er and taxiway Bravo. Pilots have missed the hold short line for the runway and come in conflict with aircraft operating on the runway. Taxiway Bravo also makes a slight turn after crossing runway 119er, and this has caused some confusion. If pilots are in doubt or unsure of any clearance, the best answer is to hold short and ask the tower. They are there to help, and they would much rather spend a little extra time avoiding any mistakes or incidents. Additionally, at hotspots 3 and 4, the associated taxiways provide direct access from ramp areas to the runway. This configuration has been identified as contributing to pilot failure to hold short at the proper location. Avoiding heads down time and scanning outside the aircraft for taxiway markings and above ground signage will help mitigate this type of error. One last item to be aware of, not listed as a hotspot, is the mix of traffic at BTV. Fast-moving air carrier aircraft and military F-35s sometimes necessitate that the tower delay smaller, slower general aviation aircraft on the ground and in the air. Rest assured that the controllers are working to provide the safest and most efficient service possible and will work you in or out when it is appropriate. Being aware of the hotspots and other configuration issues at BTV will help pilots make better decisions and along with the air traffic control tower, keep the operation safe and efficient. We hope this short video helps you prepare for your trip to the Burlington International Airport. It's always better to know before you go. Thank you.